for their speech. And after that, they will get two minutes to counter the this uh, against speaker. So I will first call Dr. Casey can read to deliver his speech. First. Honorable Chairperson, Reporter, respected teachers and my dear colleagues and audience, good afternoon to you all. So we tell you all this uh, medical debate. I don't find anything uh, uh, debate in, in this topic. Omani Zuma in the treatment of uh, bronchial asthma. I have uh, chosen the uh, title that Omani Zuma a new approach to asthma management. Definitely it indicates that I am in favor of this topic. Well, this might seem to be relevant, but this, this is something when we uh, say that that may seem to be uh, imagination, but when this sort of scientists say, then this becomes the reality. These scientists have recently said that extraterrestrials uh, definitely exist. So, if we consider the uh, statements of different scientists all over the world who are reputed for the management of asthma, we will find the role of uh, uh, humanism in the treatment of asthma. If we understand the etiopathogenesis uh, of uh, allergic asthma and the role of IgE in, the, in creating the symptoms of uh, asthma, then we will definitely understand how humanism uh, does work in uh, preventing uh, the exacerbations and reducing the symptoms of asthma. Well, uh, asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease characterized by obstruction, hyperresponsiveness of airway, and reversibility. The prevalence of allergic asthma is increasing, and the research interest mechanism and, and treatment is also going on. Around 300 million people are asthmatic, and 7 million people in Bangladesh are asthmatic. And uh, it is uh, around 10 to 12 percent of adults and 15 percent uh, of children are affected by the disease. And there is increased urbanization is responsible, and the prevalence of atopy is also increasing. So atopy is found in 40 to 50 percent of the population, and uh, atopy is generated due to a specific IgE antibody and anti-IgE antibody that is bromelizuma that inhibits IgE-mediated effects, reduce asthma symptoms, and prevent exacerbations. This is the structure of a lower respiratory tract. All of you know this. The mechanism underlying asthma symptoms, you know, the, the, there is inflammation, air responsiveness, and when it is exposed to the, the triggering factors, there is air flow obstruction and uh, creating symptoms. So if we want to understand the pathophysiology of asthma, take how an uh, arrow allergens like pollen enters into the airway and is taken up by the nighting cell, the antigen presenting cells, and it presents the peptides to the T helper cells. And the T helper 2 cells, they synthesize different types of interleukins and cytokines. And interleukin 4, 5, and 13, they activate the, the B lymphocytes to form plasma cells which uh, uh, produce IgE antibody. And this IgE antibody, when attached to the mast cell, they attach to the mast cells uh, at the site that is known as FC receptor, FC epsilon receptor 1. That is the very important uh, receptor that, that is attached. So when they attach to these mast cells, there is degranulation of mast cells and causing the release of uh, primary radiators and also recruitment of uh, different types of uh, inflammatory cells by the lipid radiators and lipid cells causes inflammation and this inflammation causes the late phase of asthma symptoms. So the primary and secondary uh, uh, radiators are responsible for the asthma symptoms. Well, this is also the same thing. If you can see the dendritic cell, the antigen presenting cell, and uh, this antigen being presented to the uh, B cells, and the, the, the B cells are producing the IgE, and this IgE, once again, when uh, uh, attached to the mast cells, this mast cell, uh, along with the uh, 
the exposure of the indigent will produce the uh, inflammatory mediators and the humanism of what does it, it do? It actually binds with this uh, uh, ICE so that uh, at the side of the, what is known as uh, C3 uh, uh, domain at, at, at if it binds with that side then if, uh, ICE cannot uh, bind to the uh, FC receptor of the Marcel or Bezobin. So uh, there uh, is no more uh, 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 degeneration of the Marcel's and also uh, this uh, ICE and anti ICE uh, uh, complex is removed from the circulation. So this is the, the degeneration of Marcel's the hot happens in the airway. So this is caused by uh, the airway narrowing is caused by tightening of muscles of the airways and swelling of the inner lining or increase in mucus production. So these are symptoms, coughing, wheezing, chest tightness and shortness of breath. So long uh, for 100 years we are treating asthma patients. We started with uh, at the uh, uh, 20th century beginning with adrenaline uh, in 90, long acting beta to agonist, and then after the uh, inhibitors and NTIGE is the latest one added to the asthma therapy. So this is the Zena 2006 guideline. All of you know this, and you see that in the step uh, five there is addition of uh, uh, NTIGE in the uh, as, a, as an add-on therapy. It is not the sole therapy. It is to be added with other drugs. So we have to uh, level assess the level of asthma control, either control uh, or party control or uncontrolled. Because we are not treating all patients of asthma with uh, omalizumab. So uh, leveling is, is very much essential. So Zina goals for uh, a successful asthma management, there are different goals you can see. But the question is, can we achieve this in all cases of asthma with short-acting beta agonist, long-acting beta agonist, senior <coughs> corticosteroids, theophyidine, leukotriene receptor antagonist, or oral corticosteroids? So whenever it's well controlled, we usually step down, and whenever it's not controlled, we usually step up. So now the ICE plays the central role in asthma. Approximately two-thirds of asthma is estimated to be allergic in correlation between the total ICE levels and the risk of developing asthma in adults has been reported. More than 50% of patients with severe asthma have allergic asthma. And NTIZ is a new and innovative approach in asthma therapy. IZ plays a key role in the inflammatory process by virtue of binding the high affinity receptors, FC epsilon receptors, and the inflammatory cells, including Marshall's, and targeting IZ with NTIZ is a national for treating allergic asthma. So omalizumab is the first of the new class of agents. Not this is the only uh, monoclonal uh, antibody. Many other monoclonal uh, antibodies are also being uh, used in treatment, uh, in the treatment of oncology, immunology, and rheumatological diseases. Omalizumab removes serum free IZ but does not bind to cell surface IZ, thus avoiding the free FC epsilon receptor cross-linking that could potentially lead to anaphylaxis. By removing free IZE, human is have down the IZE receptors on mast cells, vasobin, and inhibit the release of pro-inflammatory mediators. Human is inhibits allergen-induced early and late asthmatic response in patients with allergic asthma. If significant reduces submucosal IZE positive cells and FC epsilon E receptor cells and in patients with allergic asthma. If significant reduces eosinophilia in patients with allergic asthma. Omalizumab um, reduces FC epsilon expression on dendritic cells and may inhibit antigen processing and presenting to T cells. So this is the structure. What is omalizumab? Um, it is a recombinant human as IgG1, monoclonal anti IgE antibody that binds to the IgE molecule at the same epitope on the FC region that binds to FC epsilon uh, receptor 1. The molecule is made up 